this is Alaska and there's a wave that propagates right to left it looks like daytime nighttime propagation but you can see how quickly um, these systems go from dry to wet uh, or from cold to hot um, and so I it doesn't seem to have any an impact on the shape of the systems but it sure changes the infrared signature and you're going to want to stay tuned because um, we've done so much just buried in research and we're trying to do several things right now we're trying to decipher what's going to happen in the next two years in terms of solar radiation climate weather crops we're trying to we're trying to put it together our own model using real information and logic um, and so you want kind of want to stay tuned for that and that's a video that will only premiere on patreon the just because of the sensitivity it will not go public on youtube but um the other thing is we were doing research on well water because people i know have moved to areas in nevada that are just toxic and so you want to uh, understand why there's cancer clusters in nevada and of course it's a nuclear test site haven but there's also what ha it, aerospace and mining has done to well water is criminal it's absolutely criminal and saying that uh, gets me in trouble and will get me targeted so that's all i'm going to say about that for now but you would be shocked you would be shocked at the status of our groundwater in the united states our groundwater has meant nothing to government it has meant nothing to presidents it has meant nothing to congressmen and yet we're sitting over here arguing ready to shoot each other over these stupid puppets so you want to stay tuned for the groundwater uh it, it's it's disturbing it's depressing i have to uh, take take time off of it it's so depressing um and so but so you're going to want to stay tuned for that and how to clean up your your own tap water but before you you see you know weather <laughs> and you see again these bizarre radar signatures coming out of the north pole they are propagating it's not like a flash bulb but um what you see is the remnants of a system that used to hang out in hawaii and in the last 24 hours decide to go on the move and now that it, it's headed like warp speed up to the gulf of alaska and into canada and of course way far away anywhere near the west coast that needs the water the most if you if you wanted to play a cruel joke on the united states uh, there's a cruel joke right there have a system just irresponsible for not one drop of water uh, getting into the united states it got pushed though from a system behind it the system is these systems are weird they they are roughly the same proportions and rough roughly the same uh, size of the eye roughly the same diameters and very very dry and you can't see it but that system is coming in from the upper left and it is pushing in hard and has taken that system over hawaii and moved it now you're looking at uh, the mid-atlantic south atlantic ocean you see three jet streams you see one uh, going into africa you see one that's kind of traversing upwards uh, this one that's going into africa we're showing you right here um, is being driven by a brand new system that shares a lot of similarities between uh, the other systems with a real tight spiral of a very little very little water that system is just popped up and is driving the the equator sorry i keep jumping around from east to west but at the very top of the screen you see a little tiny circle that used to be in greenland uh, 24 hours ago it was you know and it was driving all the water in the entire jet stream out of the united states and now you see it impacts the jet stream over the north atlantic 
uh, amazing power this small little eye has and it fits the dimensions that we see in all these other artificial appearing low pressure systems that all have the same well-defined eye a very very rapid rotation the same diameter when you can get it over water and actually visualize it and the, the same diameter of the eye the same wind speeds and very very dry until it you know draws up or sucks up all that water so you know here we see the the mid-latitude system that just cropped up and so right now when we look at the weather satellites for Europe yeah you know Spain and Italy and France we're getting a little bit of water and they don't want any more they want to dry out but it seems like the UK is getting a, a steady diet of rain now we talked about this system getting started we pointed it out when it was just a hook we made a comment I made a comment saying wouldn't that be special if we can get just a little counterclockwise system that just kind of started in California hung out there and gave some water to California well that's what it did just one problem it's very dry and the bands are fast moving and you're probably not going to see a drop of water out of that darn